Are you vain like me and you want to be able to take really cool screenshots of your character and use them across social media as the thumbnails on your video and just to share with your friends how much fun you're having in Cyberpunk 2077? Welcome to the Blight Place because I also am vain and love having my character look cool, look good, have the look I want and be able to share that across social media. And especially since I do YouTube for a living, it's important for me to get good thumbnails. And I really appreciate it when games have good photo modes. And I gotta say that I think Cyberpunk's 2077's photo mode is the best I've ever seen. The amount of options you have here is quite staggering and the things that you can do. It's a super powerful system. It can be somewhat overwhelming. So if you're new to it, like I kind of still am, although I've learned a little bit, uh, welcome to this guide because this is the ultimate beginner's guide to photo mode in Cyberpunk 2077. We're going to be diving into all the ways that you can use this tool and how you can get the most out of it, at least based on the things that I know. Now, this is not an advanced guide. Um, this is a beginner's guide, so there may be things in here that that if you know this system backwards and forwards might sound kind of elementary to you and you might be going, well, what about this, that, and the other? And those might be advanced topics. Feel free to drop those down in the comments below. We will eventually be making, you know, two different other guides, ones like the mid-tier guide and then the advanced guide where we talk about things in greater detail as I learn more about them. But I'm always open to having other people drop comments and help get us up to speed quicker. So if you're new, like me, and you want to learn how to use the photo mode that's what we're here for today uh i do daily streams at 11 a.m central time there's a discord links are down below a bunch of member videos if you're a new member those are up there above you on the channel and uh, yeah like subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already done so we're gonna get rolling here a little bit of coffee and let me move my stream labs over here all right so right now we're looking at uh my character in one of his wardrobe attires and um, we're backed up against a pillar, so the, the camera over here gets a little wonky because of the fact that we're in a pillar, which is one of the reasons I wanted to take this shot right here, because it portrays as much as this system has strengths, you know, there are things you have to pay attention to, like the physics of the world around you when you're taking your screenshots. So this is kind of an up close and personal. Um, we're going to back out of this really quick, though, so you understand how photo mode works. So when you first are just playing the game, you're always going to be in first person. Now, to get into photo mode, the game will eventually prompt you to do this. I am on the Xbox Series X. That's what this guide is for. You're going to press down on both of these two buttons, the left thumbstick and the right thumbstick. Press down at the same time on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to spawn a camera in front of your face with all of the options available to you and you can go from there. One of the first tips I can give you, don't worry about your placement here. It, there's a reason why I say that. You can adjust all sorts of stuff once you're in the photo mode and one of those things is your stances and where you're placed and everything else. So don't worry too much about stance. What you're mostly looking for is I want a cool backdrop. So maybe I want this van behind me with the guns and everything else. So let's go ahead and pop myself in this direction and see if I like that angle. That doesn't look too bad. So here we can see my character. Now it's dark. I can't see him. So we'll be able to adjust that as well as we go along into this camera. So first and foremost, you've got your basic camera. And here you can set camera type. The default is drone, but you can also change it to first person perspective if you're looking to take a landscape panoramic shot. Um, but going back to drone, we could do uh, preset customizations like where do you want the camera exactly and it's going to give you some a variety of angles if you wanted to try to get a screenshot based on the angles that they're giving you by the way these angles are great i love this shot right here and if you choose a preset which we'll talk about here in a minute um, it does just basically go around your character and pick various ones but let's say i wanted to get a um a screenshot right here um, you might think that that's locked in place it ain't. You're going to see all sorts of options. Let me go ahead and turn off my camera here for the moment so that you can see the, all the options a little bit better. So on the bottom left, left you'll see some controls. Um, the big thing is LT and RT move the camera up and down. So once they've given us one of these predefined presets, um, you can still modify it from here because you can do that. And then you can, you can rotate it and you can move out even further or come in and bring back in on that move it over a little bit so we can get a nice third going 
Um, maybe we want something a little bit like, you know, something like this, maybe. That's not bad right there. Uh, we could even go over a little bit further and do something like this if we wanted to. Um, you can do field of view, which expands things considerably. Um, do that as well. You can also rotate the camera if you want to rotate it. And um, That's the first uh, set of controls. Now the next one, if you hit the right bumper, goes over to depth of field. And this is where you're going to be able to set the actual focus. So right now it's, it's auto focused on. I like to turn that off and go down in here and and um, work on focus distance here. So you see my character is kind of fuzzy right now. You also notice he's kind of dark. We'll, we'll talk. We'll, we might, might go look at that real quick before we do the um, this part. So if it, if you're finding that it's too dark for you because you didn't have enough light, you can come into the effects tab and work on the exposure. And that'll bring this up to make it look a little brighter. You can also go in here and use highlights to do the same thing. Um, now, this isn't going to be as good as if you were here during daylight hours. But just like a real f camera, you can adjust the exposure to bring out a little bit of crispness in the character. You can also go down here into your effects and, and do different things here as well if you wanted to. We'll leave that off for now. We'll go back to the depth of field. So now that we can see my character a little bit, you'll notice that he's fuzzy, and that's because the focus distance is set on, it looks like the person in the um, in the van. So what we want to do is get my character's face in focus. So we would adjust this. Uh, yep. So zero is basically close to you, and everything else is far away. So since we know that he's kind of close to us, we can adjust this. Um, and it was down. Now as you see, he's coming into focus a little bit here. That gives me his hat. Then he's starting to fade behind. So it looks like this one here is probably the right focus level to get on the character itself. Now, we've already kind of gone over effects. Um, these are, you know, you can adjust the exposure, uh, but you can also go down in here and work on effects of different types if you want to add filters and things to your, to your photo. I don't play around with that too much. But here's what I really want to come back to. The pose tab because here it don't really matter where your character was or if he was in a funny position or something because now we can do things like oh I want my character visible or invisible uh, let's talk about category of poses you got idle and action right so let's go to idle pose for start the pose right now is tabula rasa but we can go through here here's come here gonk brain how about this don't even serious dude what can I get you? Wolf of Corpo Plaza. So you just go through here and you see all of these different poses. Um, like, what? <laughs> like one of your French girls. <laughs> oh, it's too bad we're on a... Um, you know what? I want to get him on top of that table, maybe. I wonder if I could do that. I totally can. Uh, but let's let's worry about that later. Um, so you could do all of these different poses. Um, and and you could go up here and go to the idle category or the action category. So in the action category, it's the same thing. And you'll go through these various action poses. Um, so if we wanted to do something like this, round shot, you know, V shot first. Be cool. This is a robbery. Eat lid. I've got one of these screenshots already down with gravity cyber yoga hold my beer crouching punk hidden samurai so all of these different um night city strut that's i could dig it you can also change the expression neutral charm fury and if you want to go in closer don't forget you can come in here and get in closer to the face expression boredom anger satisfaction disgust happiness fear surprise <laughs> whistling let's do whistling oh yeah and then you could turn now i don't i have glasses on it but you can turn see the camera did you see the head um so the head's looking out if i turn look at camera on the head will automatically look at the camera and as i turn the camera the head will follow so if i want to do something like this and have these girls in the fore, you know, something like this where I have the girl in the foreground. Um, 
And it looks like he's looking at her and like whistling as he's walking. I can kind of dig it. Hang on, let's get the booty shot because this is totally going to be a gratuitous booty shot. <laughs> We're going to use this somewhere. <laughs> And now we can rotate, uh, we can have him, like, looking over more of his shoulder, be like, damn, girl. And here you could move his position a little bit. Close, far, up, down. Like, you could change all this shizzle, man. So, um, there's a lot of stuff you could do in here. And then once you get beyond this, you can... Um, I mean, if we wanted to turn this back down, get the exposure down, we could bring the exposure down a little bit. Go into stickers, different stickers that you can add um, if you want to. Um, uh, and I didn't take the screenshot because I backed out on accident. But here's, you, you get what I'm talking about. Let's get over here real quick. Get a little bit of better lighting on the character. So, um... Anyway, now we've got better lighting, and so we could come in here and do something else if we wanted to. So I could also come in here and say, you know, if we're if we're looking like this, let's say I want him checking over his shoulder. We could just go back into the pose, the poses, um, and go in here and look at various poses, like so. Flora, <laughs> Night City Strut is what we were using a minute ago. Uh, whistling and looking at camera. We can have that on. want to rotate the body like so. All right, getting this up a little bit. Okay, we're going to go in here to effect and turn the exposure up a little bit. Get a backlit camera here. And whenever you're ready, you can hide the UI by clicking down on the hide UI button. And then take your screenshot, which is the middle button on the Xbox, uh, like so. Or you can do what I do, which is just print screen at this point, And it'll print the screen um, and you can put it in you know, Photoshop or paint or whatever you're using to um, get the screenshot that you're after. Now, obviously, this was at night, so uh, we can back out of here. Um, let's go ahead and pass the time until it's morning and show you something. Let's go to 6.47 a.m. Let's see what the lighting's like at 6.47 a.m. Oh, that's much better. So now if we wanted to... Here, check this out. Quick commercial break, everyone, to give a shout-out to our first official guild officer, Bubblonia, as well as all of the guild champions, and, of course, all of the members who help keep me on the air full-time. To join as a member, simply click that Join button below and pick your tier, but you can also support with Super Chats on any live stream or premiere, or Super Thanks on any upload or YouTube short. Don't forget the Discord. Let's get back to the video. We're actually going to we're gonna get a legitimate screenshot that we're going to use for, the, uh, for this video. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ease this on over here and try to get it placed... I think I'm happy with that right there. Now I want to be like standing here by my ride. I'm a little too far out from where I wanted to be, but um, this is good because I'm going to be able to get the shot like this, I think. And that'll be the area for the titling and everything. All right. Let's check the presets just to be safe. Yeah, I can use it. Hmm. That's not bad, but I need to be a little closer. Okay. We 
want to something like this. Oh yeah, I can dig this. All right, now we want to go to poses really quick. The lighting's really good here, so let's use the idle poses for now. And see, ah, I, I automatically just like that one. Don't even. That looks great. That one's not bad either. When he's got his. Oh, He's got his, okay, this might work. Um, okay, maybe. Here's what I got to do, though. I got to figure out how to get him closer to the, uh, okay. Let's do this here, everybody. I don't know that I need, to, I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Yeah, so I, d I can't actually push it back towards the bike anymore. So the posing isn't perfect. So we might not pick that one. <laughs> okay, that's good right there. That's good. Cigarette in hand. V's bizarre pose needs a breather, slow squat. You're breathtaking. Hard pass. Ooh. That's interesting looking. Ha ha ha. Be for victory. Now let's go back to the... Uh, Break time. I like this one. It gives me a very like the gentleman film with Matthew McConaughey and the uh, it's a Guy Ritchie film. Really good film. All right. Now we can go in here and look at the effects. Um, actually, let's change the expression a little bit. The dis yeah, satisfaction. That's that's pretty dope. Let's have him look at the camera too. <laughs> nice. All right, all right. This is awesome. So I'm actually gonna take a. Um, we just did a print screen right here. Because this will show us exactly what we're looking for. I could probably turn my face back on because I don't think there's any more options that you need to see here. So, um, effects, we're going to go into... I don't think I need to adjust the exposure. We could add a vignette to it if we wanted to, but honestly, I don't need one. Um, I don't think we need any grain either. Any effects. Let's do depth of field really quick. I'm pretty happy with all of this. Let's, let's hide the UI just to look... See what it looks like. Um, we'll move it over this way. That way we've got some space on either side. That right there is the shot, everybody. We'll do one more print screen. Save it here. And there you go. There you have it, everybody. That is how you do photo mode in cyberpunk 2077 obviously there's a lot of options here you can play through them at your leisure and find the things that, that work for you but it's great for getting any type of screenshot you want because you can remove yourself from the equation if you want you can take frontal facing shots in first person mode it's just you know it there's some really cool stuff to do here and if you're someone like me who likes to get good screenshots this is the photog i have spent a decade as a professional photographer so this is the side of me that gets to come out and still indulge in that um it's pretty awesome so this will be the thumbnail image that we just uh, shared a minute ago hopefully you like it don't forget to subscribe hit that bell icon so you never miss an update daily streams at 11 a.m don't forget the discord check out all the other playlists and the member only videos and we'll see everybody in the next one until then stay safe and happy gaming